right. Um, so this should be a pretty powerful one. One of the more powerful Spine Chief ones. I think in general, Corruptor would be what you want to see. Um, as far as Root Seeds or Restore go, you can't go wrong with either of them. Uh, you don't really want to use Awoken Hollow in this one, so the Restore Awoken Hollow one is less useful. Root Seeds is pretty nice. I'll be honest, though, I, I still think Restore might be better. Let me think about this. It's I think it's better if I have to get end up with Decayer again. Um, like Corruptor, I'll be better with Root Seeds, though I'll be fine with either with Corruptor, honestly. I can get any one of Animus of Will or the Sweepers and a quick and it's already solved. It doesn't matter Root Seeds or Restore at that point. Restore is almost better because I can heal my shit. With Decayer, it's possible I do similar to that Hellhorn run where I just put it on bottom have it kill some things, but still maybe have a, a main floor up there. I think I'm going to stick with the root sea, or, uh, restores. Okay, Diligent. They're pretty good starters, I'd say. Uh, Sin of Shadow. Okay, so we got, unfortunately, Fuckload of Scourges and Stealth to deal with. But it is what it is. What do we got for units? Awoken at the Steel. Good. Wormkin, not as good. Awoken there, pretty good though. That's a lot of value next to that Awoken banner. Alright, we get the Corruptor this time. Perfect. Too early for Capricious. I don't want to fuck over my banner units. And we'll be, we'll be more than fine here. This should be no problem at all. We'll just go top floor. And get you there. Maybe, actually, I, I did make a slight mistake here, potentially. Um, which is that I probably shouldn't have... You know, rings 1 through 3, you don't really want to frontline with Sheaf. But I think because I have restores and the Echo Infusion, we're probably fine, too. I don't know if I want to play this here. Well... He's getting two hits in anyway, right? No, he would get... Let's see, I get, what, five per Echo? Right? So this doesn't change anything. Oh, but I have two units attacking, so it's ten. Well, I'm an idiot. Cost us two health there. In the long run, though, maybe it's still fine. Turned soul is so good. Oops, ruined the sixty nine. My bad. Oh, wow, Wormkin. He actually chose the right card. Look at that, Animus of Will or Shattered Shell. I feel like with Corruptor, I would want the Shattered Shell. But the Animus of Will and Fusion would go well into anything. And it would just be about as good as the Shattered Shell anyway. Let's, let's do the Animus of Will. And we'll see what we get here. Shitstone, eh, it's a choice to make. No. Nah. No choice needed. Husk will just be the unit. That's the best one we could find. Put a multi-strike on it. We'll put the Animus of Will into it. And, uh, that'll pretty much be all she wrote.
no need for this really, right? Yeah, we already have what we want. I mean, maybe an Animus of Speed at this point would be better. I only really need the one multi-strike. We're going to put you in front and do it the right way this time. Just don't want that thing attacking me. Yeah, she dies no matter where she goes. Easy peasy. You know, I don't think Echo Transfer's overall help a help. I can take a Echo Tran Echo Snare, I guess. Now Wormkin's doing the typical Wormkin shit, where it just makes the obvious worst choice the one. We're just gonna skip all that. With Corruptor, we don't need that shit. I think we'll be a okay here. If I were to hellvent, this razor sharp edge is a pretty damn good one. Let's do that. All right, I'm gonna put animus of will in now. And if I find quick, I find it. If I don't, I'm still probably fine. There's enough heals with awoken that we're. Probably gonna be fine. Check this first. Umbra, for sure. Look at that. Look at that. On a sweeper. Mm. I might even minus to it. And uh, by might, I mean 100% definitely M. Do we want to purge for one? Truthfully, this th these uh, echo infusions are probably not that good for us. These stings as well. Let's get rid of a sting. I'm not going to have much else to spend my shards on anyway, even if I'm going heavy right now. I'm only going to run one unit. I don't need two. Though you could go double pip, and that's it's an option. Of course, still going to backline with... Uh, that. some heals. Okay, that will do. Don't you dare lose, <laughs> you fuckers. Alright, ring one, complete. It should be smooth sailing from here on out. Shit song, huh? Well, Vulcan's Rail Spike might still be takeable, but nah. 
one of the rare times that I'll skip it. And just do draw from here on out for sure. Uh, we only really want quick at this point. I think we'd be better off going this route and getting some artifacts. This is okay into diligent, but it has some issues with redrawing. Ooh, Light's Gift is good. We'll do that. That's... Now I don't really need quick. In fact, I don't need it at all. So that's beautiful. Get rid of that. Maybe I would just get rid of that. Is actually a lot that I need to remove in this deck. I don't think we're gonna die here, but it's hard to say. You never know if it's gonna be the tanks or what that gets like buffed up. In this case, it was. Never lucky, always cucky. I can backline at this point, I think. Wow, so unlucky. Fucking tank both times. Whatever. That kills that. Let's go ahead and kill that then. We'll have a big group coming up, but whatever. Doesn't really matter where we do that. I mean, if I'm killing them all... Is you ready to die, ya bitch? I fucking hope you are. Boom. Get clubbed. Hey. It's the worst Wormkin artifact. Yeah, I don't know about Soul Siphon here. Pretty bad. Broken Memories... Honestly, also pretty bad. Looks like a skip. Oh, Wormkin, why couldn't you give me something usable here? I hate Wormkin. I actually hate them. I was of the mind that I really like Spine Chief, but I might actually hate Wormkin so much that Spine Chief like doesn't end up cracking my favorite champs. He is truly is such a powerful champ, though. Like. Ridiculously powerful, but it's hard to deny just the fucking frustration of playing Wormkin. In my opinion, at least. It's just like my opinion, man. But I feel like my opinion has validation. These stewards have not been easy to play out, so I'd rather just get them out. Um, could I vent the Bounding Echoes? I could vent the Razor Sharp Edge again? Probably Razor Sharp Edge is worth the Hellvent here, I think. The Echo Infusions are alright. They're going to be our answer probably to top floor. But I don't think I would Hellvent them. Fortunately, just nothing here is good for me. Whatsoever. Am I going to be able to get my shards? I'll get 15 there, so I just need 10 somewhere. I don't think this damage means anything unless they leak, which, if they didn't leak last round, they're not going to leak this round. That's all but guaranteed.
I uh, kind of forget which boss it was. Was it Sweeper? Oh, fuck if I know, right? Hmm. I may be pretty fucking dead if it's a uh, stealth boss. If it's Sweeper, though, I might be dead as well with him in the back like that. Well, we'll just have to see. It's gonna take some spikes damage. It's probably fine. Don't think he'll s he'll matter any. Let's give him health and him health. I unfortunately just have no idea what the uh, situation is right now. Oh, it's that guy. Fuck. Okay. It's the only one I didn't think about, really. Hmm. We might be fucked. We gotta go heavy here. I don't think I would want another return soul. If it was inspired, I might take it. This is iffy, but I, since it's inspired, I will take it. Alright, we could uh, probably use some health, honestly. Still got a lot of good Wormkin artifacts in the pool. Those probably beat out caverns. You mean, I mean, like, there's a few, like, pip space related caverns that wouldn't really help me that much. So, like, my high rolls are less here. And, uh, you know, I would take... Quick is off the table now. Large stone's probably off the table. It's really just multi-strike and 25 health that I'm looking for here. What am I looking for at the magic, though? Like, holdover, maybe? Maybe a consumer move there, I don't know. Amber reductions. Eh, I think there's more for me on the right. Permafrost, bunch of magic power. decent. Um, permafrost. Not seeing any for permafrost. Let's get these down in cost. Down, putting some magic power there. Would be nice to guarantee that those get Whatever on them. I don't know that it's really worth, to be honest. I don't want to surge stone that. And I don't even honestly want to pay for removals. I think a 30 on one of these would be fine. Now I will definitely get to my thing just by simply taking that divine horde. I'll be 5 over, but who cares. Days is no problem at all.
Should have probably put a fracture in that guy. Oops. Oh well. Here we can take him out this way. Probably want a little bit of health on him. I don't know, it's probably not that necessary. Definitely all she wrote. Well, <laughs> comparing it to uh, Echo and Fusion is hilarious. Then again, at least it generates me an Echo. Oh, but Adaptive with Corruptor is. Whew. That's some chef kiss shit right there. Just go full draw. No reason not to. You think I need any of that shit? I'm not even gonna look at it. I saw an infused mallet and it already pissed me off. I think we go this route. We don't need any merchant of steel shit. We got a hell vent coming up with that anyway. I would minus two that actually. I wanna play that for show. There we go, Karuska is what I'm looking for. No need for drop cage. We could probably take a housing. Dun Echo late game. Sick, bro, sick. Uh, plus three magic power, actually not bad here. Not bad here, let me clarify that. All right, you're gone. I think everything else might stay. What do you think? I could get rid of one fracture. That works. Corruptor, for what they lack in the defense compared to the other Spine Chiefs, they certainly make up for in offense. Being afraid of no spell shield. Spikes is the only one that would make me think twice here, I think. And we got the opening hand fucking thing, but... It's probably good enough. Would have obviously preferred it on literally any other uh, hand or whatever, but whatever. That kills that. What are we gonna do here? Just get these out of here. Everything's going to get destroyed by us. It is just not even a threat, really. We don't even really have to click anything from here on out, I feel. Other than the occasional razor sharp edge, maybe. Yeah, this is going to be one of the easiest uh, fights of all time. The spikes coming up, it's no biggie. No, 
not even gonna die. But, you know, because it's not living armor, things need to happen here. Almost killed him in one hit. That's an infused returned soul. I do believe he'll take that, though, gotta be honest, that forced contamination. I'm eyeing that. I'm eyeing that for sure. Yeah, we'll take that. Another one of these? Sure. You know I'm taking that. Do I have any draw the same turn type thing? I don't really want Cheater's Hand though, just because it's, uh. I don't know. Gonna be annoying to deal with. I don't think we need any of this. We have Heaven's Gold, so we technically have reason to hold gold. I don't even really see anything that Split Anvil gets us. Okay, I could take these, but that's it. 25 health is fine. Another multi-strike is even better. Beautiful. And the hell vent goes where? Here. <laughs> Don't want to go too heavy into diligent, even so. I mean, he's a fucking bastard. All that stealth can certainly fuck you up. Burn that. Do this. Do this. Guess I should have maybe tried to kill that guy. do that, I know we'll do that. Scourge is everywhere, but it really doesn't matter. Boom. Two pyrogros, I apparently uh, can't play out all my fucking hands here. Well, that's not what I clicked for the record, but apparently it is. waiting for diligent here. Damn, drew too much. Get rid of that then. And you are definitely gonna die. Because you're Seraph the Diligent, I will give you goddamn every motherfucking thing that we have. 
Boom. And then some. Pretty damn certain we should be able to find going top here. We'll find uh, adaptive soon enough here, even though we are technically hurting our draw this turn. I don't have to. Trying a six. Yeah, I'll live anyway, let's just fucking do it both. It's fine. Don't know why I'm doing it down there, but whatever. Thirty-three minutes, not bad. So yeah, I think it's pretty comparable to Little Fade in terms of power level. But we'll see. We'll see. The next uh, Stygian one may or may not be the same, but we'll see. Corruptor Spine Chief gets the MVP here. Just everything about it is so powerful. I definitely think it is better than Decayer on average, but uh, I'll never knock Decayer. Decayer is really good too. But I, th I do think Corruptor is the single most powerful champ path in the game of all champs. That's my statement. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.